Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today in this installment of my Cricut Summer Series, we are going to continue on with our pool slash beach theme. In the last video, we made some, uh, well, we turned beach towels into personalized beach towels and we put some iron-on HTV um, monogram decals on the corner of those beach towels and they came out really, really nice. My daughter, um, she is still into sea turtles. Um, and so we have a bag here and she wanted me to go ahead and personalize her, her own pool bag. So this will be nice because now she will be taking care of all of her things when we go to the pool or the lake or the river. And um, mom will have her bag and she will have hers. So let's hop into design space and let me show you what we're putting on this bag today. Okay, so here I am in design space. And on one side of the bag, we are gonna be putting a monogram and on the uh, large, down a pocket actually. And then on the other side, we're gonna be putting a series of the swimming sea turtles. So the first thing that I did is I went to templates and I scrolled all the way down to totes and I brought that into my canvas. And when you do that, it automatically will give you a warning that they don't save and it's just for design purposes. And this right here is, this right here is the bag. And if I click on this little tote down here in my layers panel, one, I can turn it off and on as I need to. I can come up here to this um, menu and I can change the color. So like she's got a pink bag. I'm actually going to turn off the grids. If you want to turn off the grids, click this little box right here. So here is the tote bag and I'm going to go um, zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so the size of this tote bag is 10, almost 11 by 15.5. And the height is fine. I want to make the width a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get this to go. It was acting a little weird earlier. Okay, so I've just got it resized and then I want to actually also bring in a square because on one side of the bag, we are gonna have a square that is seven by seven. And there we go. So it's kind of sitting in here like this. Okay, so the bag looks like this and so what we're going to be doing is on one side, we're going to be putting the monogram. So I did her monogram down here in the monogram maker. When you click on that, you can choose from a variety of styles and fonts, and then you can just add to canvas. So we've got that ready to go. And then on the other side of the bag, which is just all one, you know, panel, then I've got the sea turtles. Now, the sea turtles, we got, so they're gonna be looking like this on the bag, and that's what she wanted. Now, one thing about this particular design is my mat is only a 12 by 12, but what I noticed is that over here in my layers panel, everything was grouped together. So in order to get everything to fit on my 12 by 12 mat, I just selected the group of sea turtles and then I clicked ungroup. And this allowed me to be able to place all of the sea turtles the way they needed to go when I went to the make screen. And so I'll bring that in. And you can see here that we've got, um, and so I had them sized actually a lot bigger than this, but Basically, what I was able to do is get all of the sea turtles in the size that, that I had them onto two different mats. And then the other thing to make sure is that you will mirror 
your design because you're using iron on and then when you click continue and it connects to your machine then you're going to want to choose your iron on and your pressure etc let's see how long this will connect there we go i just chose everyday iron on it does give you a warning to make sure that the material is mirrored and that you place it shiny side down on your mat had default pressure fine plate fine point blade was loaded and then i just ran it through the cricket and it cut everything out for me okay so let's head back over to the overhead camera and i will um, show you how we're going to put all of this together Okay, so the project is going to be put on this bag here, and this bag is about 15, uh, 17 to 18 wide and 15 tall, and it just, it has some straps. It's got a lot of room in here. Let me get this tag off, and I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm like 99 percent sure that I got this at the Dollar Tree. So perhaps when you go there, you may be able to find the same or something similar. Okay, so we've got, just need to pull off this staple. Perfect. All right. It has a pocket on the outside, and this is where we are going to put the monogram. And it's then on the other side, it's just plain. And we'll be placing the sea turtles around this back side here. So I am going to go ahead and turn on my Easy Press. Let that start heating up. Okay. I probably should check the heat guide. So let's go do that super fast before we get into the weeding. So in Design Space, if you go to your home screen and you go here on the left side menu, you see Heat Guide. And then when you click on the Heat Guide, you can go to this page here and select the item that you're doing. So we are going to use the Easy Press 2. And then we are going to be using Everyday Iron On. And let's see. Um... I'm going to say, well, let's check and see what this says. Um, it doesn't say here what it is made out of, but it's, I think it's either, it feels like, almost like it's a, like a nylon or a polyester. I, I it's not cotton. So I'm just going to go ahead and click polyester. So 315 and firm pressure, 30 seconds. Okay, well, it was already heating up to 315, so that's a good thing. All right, head back over to our overhead camera. All right, so now we are going to, in fact, I want to start with her monogram. We'll go ahead and get this weeded. And I'm super excited for summer. Have a lot of projects planned to bring to you to the channel, which will be really fun. But also I'm hoping that we can spend a lot of time swimming and hiking, just doing some fun family things. Okay, so we've got a nice, this is, there we go, a nice easy weed. Okay, so it'll look like this on the bag. And it'll look like that. Now I probably could have just used my Easy Press Mini to do this. And with the sea turtles, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, Probably could have done one turtle at a time. So, I 
right. Let's do these little sea turtles. So down in the comments, I would love to know what your summer plans are. Um, like if, ideally, like if you could do anything you wanted to do, what summer plans would you have? Guys, look, that is neat. That, that almost could be like a little stencil. I'm tempted to save this. Isn't that cute? Okay, sorry. Getting distracted by the cuteness of the sea turtles. And, but tell me down in the comments what, um, what your favorite summer activities are. And, you know, if you make a bucket list every year or you just kind of decide as you go every day what you're going to be doing. And so during the year, I teach math at the high school, and during the summer, I do work some more in the summer, but I like to enjoy time in the great outdoors, and my daughter absolutely loves swimming. It's her favorite thing. So we'll get these. I thought it would be neat for her to have her own swimming bag, gear, etc. This is a very easy weed. I, I'm very happy with this design. So, almost done. And I'm trying to remember what vinyl this is. I think that this is, um, I want to say that this is from Expressions Vinyl. And it's just, um, I think it's Caesar Easy Weed. And I just picked it up at Expressions Vinyl. I tend to go through white and black a lot. All right. Well, I thought that was going to take a lot longer, but apparently it did not take very long at all. So with that being said, let's go ahead. And what I'm using, this is just a piece of like a cardboard. It's kind of like really thick poster board, something you would get in a, um, in some packaging. And I really just want to place it inside. This is kind of a habit back to my old days when I painted on t-shirts. We always put stuff inside the shirt. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the lint roller out. And just gonna go over that little area, make sure there's no dust or lint. And then we're just going to heat this up for just a second. Okay. I've got very limited space today. Okay, so this is definitely probably something I need to get out parchment paper for. This seems like it doesn't really like this heat. In fact, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna bring in, I think I'm gonna bring in my Easy Press Mini instead and I'm gonna let that heat up because this seemed to not like that big press and I do not wanna ruin this bag. So perhaps that one is just a little bit too, um, a little bit too big and hot. So another thing that I'm gonna grab is, I'm gonna grab this butcher paper here, and this will just kind of protect the bag. 
Yeah, that'll be okay. Because I definitely, I mean, I only paid, you know, I only paid $1.25 for it, I think. But I would like it to be a nice, I thought it would be a nice little pool bag. Okay, and I'm just going to cover this here just to keep it from really taking the brunt of the heat. So I just want to get the design down. And we only have to do about 30 seconds. And of course, I'm going to be monitoring the project in front of me. So I am going to turn this over and I'm just going to let the glass mat pull the heat out of this. And boy, am I glad, I'm glad that I put this cardboard in there. I think that was probably a very wise idea. Okay, let's check this side. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to try and press out some of these wrinkles really fast from the bag. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so let's see. Look at, oh, okay, I was going to say look at that, but we are going to... We're going to have to put our C back down. And I actually might have to cut the C back out if it doesn't cooperate. But let's see if I can get it to go. I'm just going to flip this little point around very gently with my weeding tool. Okay, I think I'm saving the day. But I'm just gonna get this down. I must not have gotten the, uh, must not have gotten the press on top of the C very well. Okay, let's Flip it over one more time and we will take out the heat, just leaving this on our glass mat. All right, let's try this again. Oh, much better. Yeah, I must have not have just pressed that C down. Apparently, I kind of overlooked that. Okay, so this is the front side. And this is going to be great. This is nice and ironed on. Okay, so now we're going to go to the back side. And we're going to have to figure out how we want to do these sea turtles. So I have this really big one right here. And maybe we'll hold on to that one for a second. Okay, so we have a baby one here. I think what I did when I sized all of this is that I did not realize that this was the bottom 
So I really don't have this. I only have so much space, to be honest. That's okay. It'll be okay. We just got to figure out how we want to place the sea turtles. So when you're doing when you're doing iron on, you'll notice that I have a lot of carrier sheet and I want to make sure that the carrier sheet for the one that's on top is not underneath the vinyl of the other one. That is really important. Otherwise, you're just going to be ironing on, like right here, you'll be ironing on your vinyl to a carrier sheet. And right now, I'm just placing all of this stuff on here anyway, so I just want to get a feel for where stuff might go. You definitely want to trim. off this excess carrier sheet because we don't want to have things overlap. Get these two over here. Okay, so Again, I'm just kind of playing around with where I would want some of these little sea turtles to go. So I definitely would have liked to have had all of the sea turtles. But I just think, I just, oh yay, the, air, the AC has decided to turn off for a minute. I just think that this would just be really giant, unless you were just doing one. Let me think about this for a minute. Okay, so I went and got the boss and asked her what she thought about what she wants where, and I'm gonna have her help me here in a second. But she's decided she wants the little baby one here on the front. And then we're going to take the really big one and we're going to put it on the back in the middle, which is kind of, you know, the idea that I thought might be helpful. And this will actually be a great thing because I can teach her how to, I can teach her how to do this iron on. So again, we have our cardboard on the inside to protect the inside. And we have our parchment paper to put on top. Okay, so if you want to do, you're going to roll your lint roller. Okay, and then I want you to take the Easy Press Mini and I want you just to very gently just iron. You can push down a little bit. And we're going to iron by the end of this video, guys, we're going to have a convert to Cricut. <laughs> and then she will be making a bunch of things all on her own. That's probably good. And then now we're going to take your turtle and we're going to put it, do you, you can have it like this or like this. I want you to place the turtle the way you want it. Just like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this, this butcher paper back down on there. Now you're going to need to press firmly and continually move over Okay, but you'll have to press firmly. And we're gonna let this get really good and heated up. And make sure that you would get the middles and the arms. 
Okay, let's monitor the project. Okay, so see this, you can tell that this is, com is, is still up and this is still up. We're going to have to do like this by the arms. Like that. Get the arms really good and pressed down. And it looks like you did a pretty good job of the rest of the body. And I'm going to have you go over the rest of the body. But we want to make sure the arms are really adhered. And you can see, you can see the, the uh, fabric, the, the, the uh, texture of the fabric coming through the vinyl. Okay, so just, I want you to go over from head to tail, these little legs, and push pretty hard, and just keep moving that easy press. Don't get on the pink, stay on this carrier sheet. And go a little slower. You want to get over all that. Okay. Very good. And work your way up toward the top. Okay. Make sure that you get the head. Try and stay on the carrier sheet and not the, not the pink directly. All right, so now we are going to take this off of the mat and we turn it over onto the glass like this. And we just hold, we get it to pull the heat out for us. So I guess we'll need to find some things to do with your other sea turtles that you got there. While that's kind of resting on that side, let's go ahead and do this side. You're going to lint roll one more time. Okay. All right. We are going to, you need to get the, the little mini, and I want you to reheat this area here. We're only going to heat it for five or so seconds. Kind of the whole area. There you go. Very nice. Okay. All right. Now you're going to place the little sea turtle the way you want it. Okay. And then you can go ahead and start pressing. And just try and keep it on the little carrier sheet and not on the pink. Yep. Okay, did you get these feet? Ooh, yes, I think you did. That's very warm. Okay, so we're going to let that pull the heat out. And let's check this, okay? and see if we have to reheat anything or if it's good. All right, so we're going to have to redo this head a little bit. See how when when I pull up the carrier sheet, see that right there? Okay, so we'll have to do that. I'm just going to go. This one needs to be redone. Okay, so we need a few more seconds on this side. Yep. Yep, we're going to just very carefully. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this down. Okay, and I want you to go over your sea turtle again. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to 
do this up. We're just going to flip this over and we're going to go check the other one. Okay. All right. So you can very carefully lift. You're going to need both hands. Just lift the carrier sheet and very slowly make it kind of flat like you're pulling it like this, not straight up, but just back like that and keep going. Nice and easy. Okay, so I think the head needed a little bit more. Would that be, would that be accurate? Is that what you saw? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover. Starting at the head, you're just going to go over everything again. And the rest of the body, you don't need very much. Okay, fantastic. And we're going to very slowly peel this away. We don't want to pull anything up. Okay. But I think this is a great job. All right. So we're going to go to this side. Okay. Now we're just going to go around and check that as we run our fingers over everything, that nothing comes up. I think that looks really good. I think you did a great job. And then on this side, this one is good. And then this one, we can just press that flat again because it needs to be, the right wrinkles need to be ironed out. And you will now have yourself a little pool bag. You can tell everybody that you made it. <laughs> you made it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks to my guest helper today, we have another summer cricket uh, project under our belt. And hopefully this gave you some ideas and inspiration for your own Summer Cricut series, gifts and projects to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And until we see you next time, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.